Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 4 Trophy Guard video. In this video we're going to talk about the only one thing left to do trophy. And this is Kiryu's chapter, end of chapter 4 uh, trophy. Essentially you just have to go through a gauntlet of people at the end of his chapter. You have to fight each of these separate mini bosses and then you have to fight them all together. It can be pretty tricky when they're all together because some of them are really aggressive, some of them are not. I personally went for the guy with the shotgun straight away because he was a pain in the ass. In the separate rooms, if you can get rid of him quick, he is ideal to get rid of. If you can whip out a few uh, tiger drops, always a good sign. If you can whip out the... Uh, Stomp to the face, even better. Just get rid of that one. There you go. So the hammer guy's not really an issue. He's kind of slow. He's sluggish. He's, he swings it around. He's nowhere near you most of the time. You've got heals and stuff. Make use of that. Make use of the flying headbutt, which is an awesome move. If you're in trouble, that flying headbutt is just phenomenal. But if they catch you in the group and they start wailing on you like that. It's uh, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. You can pick up the gun. It's not going to do much damage, I don't think. It might just keep him at bay for a bit. Keep them at Michael Bay. Whee. It does a bit of damage. It's not uh, it's not terrible on the damage. Not gonna lie. Not bad at all, actually. So use that if you want. Generally, this guy is so annoying. If you can time the uh, if you can time the tiger drop on him, he's a piece of piss. If you can't, like me, and you just struggle with certain timings when like the hitbox is actually going to hit you, then uh, it gets a bit tricky. But yeah, E Juin is a bit of a pain in the ass. Hori, not so difficult. He just takes damage. Hori, he just takes damage as you're fighting in general. But yeah. He, you don't really... Oh, he has really got me there. Damn you, Hori. But we got some revenge on him. So they drop uh, they drop heals as well. Because it is a tricky fight. No damage in this fight would be an absolute ball ache, no doubt. I'm not sure how you would go about it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. If you can time that uh, tiger drop, that's what you want to do. There you go, have some of that. Have some of that tiger. Boom. I also keep forgetting to use the uh, Kamaki reversal. So the R1 circle. Because that reversal is so good. It stuns them. It's just absolutely perfect. And I just always forget to use it because I'm always thinking, Tiger drop, tiger drop, tiger drop. But the Kamaki reversal in a lot of ways is better. But uh, it's just one of those things. I mean... Each, piece, each person has their preferences. Some of these moves are quite hard to time. He's very erratic with the way he moves. And sometimes he does certain moves, sometimes he doesn't. It's it's one of those. So if you if you feel comfortable with the combat, go in there with a few heals, should be fine. If you're not comfortable with the combat, take as many heals as you need. Uh, and make sure you equip some decent equipment as well. Because I, I never really did in this playthrough, I just equipped what I had. And sometimes it wasn't the best, sometimes I didn't have a full set of anything, sometimes I didn't have three items. <laughs> Not good enough for me! But yeah, cutscene and choose after this. And I think you get the trophy after the cutscene. So thank you very much for watching, take care, peace out, and I'll see you next time.